Okay, behind the camera, Seth Stevenson here at Fayetteville Team Rock with uh, Coach Greg Jackson and the owner, Greg Thompson. And I've got some questions for uh, Greg Jackson. And the first question is, what are your thoughts behind uh, belt ranks for MMA? Well, I think uh, belt ranking mixed martial arts in general, both uh, as a new martial art and as a, a, a way to teach you how to compete in the sport of MMA, is an important thing, and uh, we're just trying to do our part to help that out. So uh, I think it's it's time to uh, kind of try to get a, a, as much unification as we can and, and get a, a belt rank that makes sense to everybody and uh, uh, take it from there. Not only for the mixed martial arts, but mixed martial arts as a new martial art, using it as our self-defense aspects and, and sporting aspects as well. And the sidebar on that, are there any organizations you know of that have already started such a program? Uh, I'm sure there are organizations and I'm sure what they're doing is very, very good. Uh, we're going to do ours and, and hopefully bring a lot of the major schools into play and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, a second question, and either one of you guys can jump in because uh, I value the opinion of both. Uh, what, are, what, are, what are your uh, uh, thoughts, uh, pros and cons regarding training at multiple gyms with multiple coaches where the skill sets are relatively the same at each gym? I'm trying to make it tough. <laughs> uh, well, it's it's. I mean, that's what we do. You you have to have multiple coaches that specialize in different fields, and then you have to have one that kind of, or at least one or two that is able to put all of those techniques together. And then you have to have a brain on the body. You can have two arms, two legs, but you have to have a brain. Otherwise, if you just have multiple coaches without an overall kind of overseeing coach that, that brings the body together and tells you to jab, cross, hook, whatever, uh, it's pretty pointless because they're all islands unto themselves. And what you need to do is combine all those islands and to make one kind of landmass, and that's very important. What about you, Greg Thompson? I, I think you hit it pretty much on the head. Um, a lot of it can be down to, to loyalty. I mean, when guys start floating around, do you share your 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 team's most, you know, your secret to everybody? And then they may float around and show it to another team that you might be fighting later. So you have to kind of balance that out. Um, but if you can have gyms that are around, that are around you that are very... Uh, loyal to you that one may be the, a really good wrestling camp, one may be good strikers, one could be jiu-jitsu, you can kind of work together, I think it's a good thing. Thank you. All right, my last question is, since you mentioned techniques, uh, what, are, what, are, what, are, what is the best way to transition between techniques from art to art, uh, boxing to wrestling? Uh, jiu -jitsu and just kind of nutshell this I know it's pretty much lengthy detailed question because you could you could take the jab and do that all night long but just give me your thoughts on that well, there isn't there's the easy answer is that's mixed martial arts I and mean, what you're to mix martial arts isn't jiu-jitsu kickboxing or wrestling that's jiu-jitsu kickbox those are established martial arts combining those things together in a relevant way that's mixed martial arts understanding how to put the kickboxing together with the wrestling together with the ground and pound and jiu-jitsu that is mixed martial arts and that's why uh, you need to codify that and, and put it in a way that everybody can understand. But, but combining the arts together is the new martial art. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Greg Jackson and Greg Thompson here at the Team Rock in Fayetteville. Thanks, guys.